What is up everybody? Welcome back to episode 4 of our tutorial series of Planet Side 2. The purpose of this series is to give you a much better understanding of how the game actually works because the tutorial in this game does not really do a very good job. In uh, this uh, episode we're going to go over how to play this game with people. Like how to join squads, how to just do this game with people. This game is meant to be played with people because if you do things with your squad members then or your platoon members you will get more points you'll rank up faster and you'll get more in-game currency to spend on different items you can play this game by yourself if you would like however this game is built to play with other people and have cohesion and work together to accomplish specific tasks so i'm going to go over how to the very basics of just doing a squad in this video um, I waited a little bit, even though this is a very important part, I waited a little bit because a lot of aspects in the social tab are a little bit buggy. So um, we're not going to go over the, the buggy parts of it. It might be a little buggy for you, d depending, but it shouldn't be very bad and uh, it's it'll be a... If you wanted to learn more and learn further into this um, tutorial series, the bugs might start showing up a little bit and at least you kind of understand what you're doing. So right now I'm actually overlooking an amp station. Um, I might end up making the amp station tactics be the next video, so we'll see. But uh, this is an amp station. It's a, one of the huge bases on the map, so, um, but yes. Without any further ado, we're going to go into figuring out a squad. So um, where a squad would be located, and this is how you can figure out if you are in a squad or you're not in a squad. So everybody look at the mini map in the bottom uh, bottom left hand corner of my screen. It says nom amp station. It's got my list of how many certs I have, my spawn points, um, other things that uh, we'll get into later, and uh, then the map. So just to the right of that, there's an empty space, and at the bottom of just to the right of that uh, mini map is the uh, voice proximity, like a, a mic in proximity. So if there's nothing right to the right of your minimap, then that means, like mine, if there's nothing like mine to the right of your minimap, that means you're not in a squad. So I'm going to show you guys how to get into a squad. So in order to get into a squad, you want to press the options button, or if you're on PS3, or you're on PS5, it's the hamburger icon, and then it will bring up the um, pause menu. The pause menu looks like this. And what you want to do is you want to go down to the social tab. Go to the social tab, click X, and then we have three different tabs. So I'm going to quick go over each tab. If you switch with L1 and R1, you can switch tabs. Proximity. Proximity will show any of the players that are in the proximity to you. It's a, a range of quite a bit, but there's nobody anywhere near me so there's nobody listed here in proximity but you can look at their profile you can add them as a friend you can invite them to squads you can do all that stuff through proximity um, I don't have anybody here so otherwise there'll be players listed here friends I've made a new account so I have no friends on this account but none of them are online anyway so um, there's the friends tab as well so anybody you add as friends they'll be listed here as well and then the one we want to focus on is squad search this is the very first tab squads oh squad search um, that's kind of a tongue twister squad search um, so anyway um, we have if we look at the squad search section we have three different squads that we can join three different squads that are public that we can join these are showing all the squads that are public and anybody can join um, so in the first column under squad we have name for example this one says heaven um, this one says another thing. Um, and this one says another thing. So these are the names at the very left hand side is the name. And, uh, there's really no real, um, there's no real significance to that. Um, however, if it just says a name and it doesn't say, for example, this one says Bravo and then a name, this means this is a platoon. If they just say a name, this is just a squad. But this is how you can tell if it's a squad or a platoon. So that is the significance of names. It doesn't matter what the name is, but if you see Bravo or um, a name or just a name, it's just a squad. If you see Bravo, then a name, it's a platoon. So anyway, 
the distance is the next thing over to the right distance is how far their squad leader is from you so you can tell before you join it if you have to move a lot or if they're at the same base as you uh, it's pretty self-explanatory cohesion is um, how close everybody is to each other so if everybody on the squad is really close to each other it will show high cohesion if they're very far away from each other like this one it will show low cohesion and then outfit is the next thing over um, to the right and outfit will get into later but in order for you to join an outfit or create an outfit you need to be level six an outfit is basically like your clan it's your own group of people they all have this tag in front of their name just kind of like I don't know um, it's it's just like a clan so and then your squad leader it shows what the name of the squad leader running that squad is and then the very last one is slots so how many people are in your squad you can have up to 12 people in your squad so this one has 4 out of 12 5 out of 12 2 out of 12 um, so anyway I'm gonna go and join this squad right here because this one has the most and it'll allow me to explain a little bit on the squad so if I go to highlight this one I can press X to join the squad and then it will put me in the squad now it's gonna show me all the people in this squad so if I come back now we have our squad I actually don't really like this for demonstration purposes I'm gonna quick leave this squad with, with square and then I'm gonna go back to uh, this squad here and then join this one okay this one's a little bit better for explanation purposes okay so in this squad we have five people now there's something to the right of that mini map so to the right of that mini map we have um, number one number one is our squad leader and that's the same name as what was listed up there on the on the list so that is the person who has full control over how the squad um, acts he can put the squad waypoints which that uh, green thing with the star on it and then you can also see it up in the air that is the squad waypoint so he set a waypoint for all the people all the members of the squad to go uh, to go towards so other people in the squad are over here everybody in your squad is uh, the color of green now instead of any of the regular colors that you see what is going to be your squad members are going to be of the color of green um, or yellow yellow would be the squad leader like or gold so the squad leader is gold and then all the greens are the people in your squad so don't let this confuse you the red guys are still your team if you are on TR the blue guys would be your team if you're on the NC the purple guys would be your team if you're on the Vanu sovereignty however green now comes in and this is your squad members this is like you're closer than your just general faction members so um, if I go to the map um, I want to find out where they are so it looks like there is one person over here um, I don't see where anybody else is uh, weird um, I'm not gonna find out where they are but um, so anyway Oh, well, whoever was the squad lead actually just disconnected. So if you see a one, one, whoever is number one in the squad is the leader of the squad. So they have the control over the whole squad. As that, as our squad leader just left, it's now been to this guy over here. He's the new squad leader. But uh, our squad waypoint went away because he is, uh, he just disconnected. And you can see when people are disconnecting, by the logo next to their name so if we go to squad to the right side of the map you'll see one two three eleven twelve look under number two that was our former squad lead he just disconnected from the game and now it's kind of showing a plug that is unplugged that basically means that he's disconnected from the game and he has like five minutes to come back in and he'll still automatically be in this squad otherwise after about five minutes they'll just take his name off the squad and then our squad will shrink a person so um, that is what that logo means um, the logo at number one as you see number one here that's the person who who leads but the the logo right before his name and the star that shows that he's dead it's got the skull and crossbones 
He's dead there. Same with 11. 11 dead. Also, you can see that they're dead because their name is um, is not fully opaque. It's uh, kind of transparent. It shows that they are um, they're dead. So, um, and then the other thing is when they actually are in here. So me and then whoever 12 is, it'll show that logo will show what their class is. So for me, I've got the plus. That means I'm a medic. For 12, it will show that he is a, I believe that's the light assault. Um, let me just look on <laughs> infantry. So combat medic, light assault. Um, <clears throat> sorry, it doesn't actually show me, but I'm just going to say that's either heavy assault or light assault. Um, I might be wrong. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of that name. But it, that logo corresponds to what they are. So it, it'll show a wrench icon if they're an engineer. And it'll show a different icon for each person that they are. So obviously the medics and the um, wrench icons are easy to figure out who's the uh, medics and who's the engineer. So um, that's a good indicator of who you have on your squad and who can help you with what if you're looking for specific help. But anyway, the other thing in this is you see how be between the number one and the squad, uh, you see this thing called diamonds. You also see in the squad section, you see clubs. It's like separating that whole list of our <clears throat> people in our squad into two. So basically what that is, is that's a fire team. Fire teams are listed uh, as up to three people. You can have up to three people in a fire team and just basically one fourth of a squad. And if you want to be like super, super cohesive and go all the way down to just three people and split your squad up into four different sections, you can split your squad up based on the fire team. Three people here, three people here, three people here, three people here. Three times four is 12 people. That's as many people you can have in a squad. So a fire team is basically a mini version of a squad. And you can have fire team leaders. So for example, Number 11, who is dead right now, he's the leader of clubs. And number one is the squad leader, but also the leader of diamonds. However, if he was, uh, <clears throat> if whoever, whoever is the first line um, right after the name, like diamonds and clubs, that is the leader of the fire team. Um, they're, they don't really need to get into specifics of that. The squad leader runs <clears throat> everything with that, I think. Being the leader of the fire team, you get the ability to place a squad weight, uh, not a squad, uh, a fire team waypoint if you choose. Um, but I think that's the only perk you get for um, fire teams. So anyway, um, that is the general overview of squads. Um, I want to quick go over and this is a terrible squad. <laughs> like, uh, nobody's alive. There, well, there's one person here. There's really just one person working. Everybody else is just dead and not coming back in. So let me switch my squads. I uh, use that to explain. I'm going to use this one and see where people are. <clears throat> Sorry. So we have, okay, a bunch of people over there. So I'm just going to is this the combat? Yeah, I'm just going to join combat. It should put me right over there. Join combat puts me in the biggest battle. <clears throat> so anyway, just to give you a better... Yep, it is putting me right here. So we are listed as... Just so you can see the squad. All the reds. <clears throat> these are all the people in my faction. All these people are in my faction. Now, the yellow guy, that's the squad leader. This green guy is a guy in my squad. So... This is whoever has the one. The reason I didn't like this is because number one is not at the very top. Um, number two is at the very top, but that's not the squad leader. Whoever has number one is the squad leader, and that's the squad leader right there. Um, and then uh, we're getting hit down over here, and I'm trying to keep it. Uh, let, me, let me turn this down a little bit even more um, so that way you can still hear. <clears throat> but uh, yes, so. Yellow is the squad leader, and we just got EMP'd. Um, but uh, that's why I didn't want to go super, super close. I'm going to come back to our bio... Hey, we have a bio lab. I'm going to come back to our bio lab. I'm actually set as an infiltrator. 
and yes infiltrator is the target these are the sniper ones this is like the uh the target logo for for an infiltrator see the wrench logo is number two that's the um engineer i am in a bio lab right now um i will explain these bio labs is one of the big bases um i will explain these in uh, a future video but yes so um i just wanted to give you a quick overview i didn't have much time but you guys saw it um gold is the squad leader and the the, blue, uh, the greens are the squad members so if you see green it's not an enemy it's your squad and then uh the next video i'm gonna go over platoons and that one's gonna be a quick video because you got the general gist of this one so thank you guys so much for watching i'm not gonna waste any more of your guys' time um Hopefully this helped you guys out, and if you enjoyed, make sure to smash the like button, comment, and subscribe if you want more, and I will see you guys in the next video.